What's going on guys? It's your boy John the Liquidator coming back with another video and the transfer portal is definitely starting to heat up and the NCAA is making moves to change the whole process. Guys, for this one here, we got to go all the way up to Boulder. Let's get it. Let's go. We have a lot to unpack in this video, man. So it looked like Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes has lost a member of the defense. Yesterday, I reported on Mount Slusher not being an active member on the Colorado Buffaloes roster. What well, news did break late last night that he has decided to enter the NCAA transfer portal. It's being reported that Colorado safety Mount Slusher plans to enter the NCAA transfer portal. He told on three sports yesterday, the six foot one and 195 pound safety has a total of 110 tackles, 3.5 sacks, two forced fumbles, and two interceptions. He will have two years of eligibility remaining. And I'll be the first to tell you, man, Miles Slusher played a pivotal role in the defensive scheme last year. He was very active. Um, he's seen a lot of action, so this is a tough one for us to lose. But uh, I'm wishing him nothing but the best as he moved forward to the next chapter of his football career. Now, with all that being said, I'm here to tell you guys, Colorado Buffalo's safety room is definitely full. We still got Carter Stott Meyer, Vito Tisdale, Travis J, Herman Smith III, Cameron Salmon Craig, Shiloh Sanders, Jaden Miller Jones, and Preston Hodge. Now, that is the state of the Colorado Buffalo safety room as of today. Don't be surprised. More players will be hitting the portal throughout the duration of this month. We cannot be surprised about it. This is the nature of the game. And um, as more news come out about which Pacific players will be leaving, I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date on that process. Now, Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes are looking to land a bunch of players as well from the transfer portal. We know last year, Coach Prime hit it up pretty heavy, and I'm hearing that he's going to do the same thing again this year when the portal opened up as well. So the foundation of the team is definitely going to be well supported through the duration of this offseason. Coach Prime and his coaching staff will be landing guys all month long as well. Now, moving on to the next story. The NCAA is looking to change the process with the transfer portal now. We have reported on this back in December, and it looked like they're definitely trying to break ground with the transfer portal process. It's being reported that Division One console could adopt emergency legislation for a new transfer rule in the next meeting. Slated for April 17th through the 18th. The new rule will remember the policy that has been in place since December, and that is there is no limit on transfers. And uh, it sucks, man. It just sucks for guys like Tyler Brown that had to sit out last year, man. But it is what it is. The article goes on to say all undergraduate athletes will be able to transfer and play immediately as long as they meet specific academic requirements. Previously, if an underclassman wished to transfer a second time, the athlete needed the NCAA to grant a waiver to complete immediately. Absent and approved waiver, the athlete had to sit out a year, and that's exactly what happened to Tyler Brown. The legislation would not limit the number of times an athlete could transfer. Portal windows would still exist. The NCAA sent out memos to institutions twice this year, stating that multi-time transfers could play immediately in 2024-25 without securing a waiver. Similar to the current bylaws, athletes would not be able to transfer mid-year and play for a new school in the same athletic season. The new NCAA transfer rules will only give more power to athletes who will be able to freely transfer and play as long as they meet academic requirements. So it's great that they get this process done for guys that, you know, might not like the situation that they went to and uh, want to leave. But with all that being said, that's all the news I got for you guys as of right now. Get down in the comments section. Let me know your thoughts about this. Keep them bills on because you know I'm going to bring you the news. And like always, man, this is a big one for me. Until next time, shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out. Hey, you cut You should have seen by now. Talking about it. We coming. They doubt us. But we coming. They think saying. We coming. They think it's a game. We coming. I don't give a damn what they say. You best believe.
Kanan.